and today i am going to show you a quite a rare uh, but absolutely splendid and amazingly beautiful uh, flower called uh, mitragyna parvifolia now this uh, species ex occurs extensively in uh, indian forests and in undisturbed uh, areas even in uh, semi urban uh, not exactly semi urban but uh, where there is not uh, clear cutting of has happened and uh, it can uh, grow quite big this tree and these flowers look uh, like a tinier version of the kadamba the leaves also have a kind of a broad uh, light green color like the kadamba flowers and uh, i mean kadamba leaves and it flowers in this uh, mid day april to mid may and uh, this tree is a bit uh, it's a smaller tree and uh, subsequent to this i'll be doing one more uh, video with just the flowers and the seeds so that you get a closer view and uh, this uh, this tree can very well be grown in gardens and all but uh, sadly people have never heard of this mitragyna parvifolia and i myself i am seeing the first uh, specimen after 25 years of tree watching and tree photography and all and uh, i'll also show you the uh, the bark the tree this mitragyna attracts a lot of uh, butterflies in the flowering season and it has a very heavenly aroma also and uh, this tree probably is about 5 or 8 years old this is the bark mitna vitragna parvifolia bark it's light uh, creamy colored with rough uh, these uh, things peel off like that their peeling happens and uh, the wood is also used in as a for light carving and all in the villages but doesn't make it into the cities into a commercial uh, harvest and uh, this one has been uh, lucky there is no disturbance and it's uh, quite covered up with uh, jasmine wild jasmine creeper and uh, i'm doing this video in the moat of an old uh, fort actually now this moat gets uh, kind of waterlogged and uh, so nobody has bothered to clear the weeds and in between this beautiful tree has grown So that's a short video on this Mitra Agma.